It's a brand new Hearthstone expansion, which can only mean one thing. Zoo Warlock has somehow weaseled their way back into being relevant. So Galakrond, Zoo Warlock is changing up the meta, making a big splash. If you're wondering why I'm wearing the same shirt as yesterday, don't worry, this video wasn't recorded at the same time as yesterday. It's just that I haven't changed my shirt for a while. Let's play some Hearthstone. Ha! <laughs> This guy's toast. Alright, the gameplay of Zoo is very simple. Get Flame Imp in your opening hand and start dancing. Do we have Flame Imp in our opening hand? Oh, we do. Do we want Galakron the Wretched? No, we want early aggression, right? Flame Imp would normally would be really good on turn 1. Oh, I can go Flame Imp coin into Beaming Sidekick, right? That seems not bad. But I also got a Knife Juggle that can be curved out really well. Hmm, what to do? You know what they should do for Knife Juggler? Make it so it can only deal damage to random minions. Yeah, that, random enemy makes a cat at weak, you know. Not that strong. But random minion only? That would make it a little more balanced. That's fine. This is actually really okay. I can play Mecha Roo or I can play the Void Walker. What do you guys think? I play Mecha Roo. I have one Void Walker to protect my knife juggler, so I need him healthy. If I trade this in, the odds of hitting something big is higher, right? But how unlucky am I? I think I should do this first, just to see the outcome. Oh my fucking god! Ah! Okay. I mean, it could have been worse. That could have gone face again. So, is this the worst thing in the world? No, it's not the worst thing in the world. I suppose. He's gonna full clear with Sag Roar, it's fine. This is such a greedy trade, by the way. Hey, I got you, friend. I'm kind of playing off curve, but I think it's fine. Cause if I just trade this and then play this, all I have is a freaking. Eh, I guess I would summon a bunch of imps. Right, invoke summons imps, right? 2 1 1 imps. Maybe I should play this instead. I forgot that summons imps. But I'm still getting more value from uh, this, I suppose. I just didn't invoke twice and then I can get card value. I think this play was fine though, because these all gain. Like, this all contributes to the attack on the Dragon Blight Cultus, right? <laughs> Am I justifying a bad play I made? No. Oh, you run swipe in your token deck? Hey, where's your swipe? You had a card called swipe, right? What happened to it? Against token, I should trade, right? As much as I hate trading on the stock market. A fiendish right here would be poggers. Yes, I say poggers in real life. Aeroponics. One mana draw two card. That's pretty nice. Hopefully he doesn't have like a new sat defender. Oh, thank god he doesn't. Oh my god. Can my hand be any worse? I need to invoke once more. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven dudes who invoke. Oh god, don't discover swipe, don't discover swipe, don't discover swipe. Whatever you do, don't discover swipe. So I play this for Temple? Are you insane, Toast? It sounds like you're insane because you just suggested coining, playing by old worshipper. Do you not like three cards? <sighs> This is really, really 
as they say, grinding my gears. I need to hit something half decent. No, not Mekaru. Actually, not Mekaru. Okay, that one is a little more okay. Decent snipe. It's going to be okay. Is it gonna be okay, really? If I trade this in, no, I have to okay. trade this. In. I need to win this fifty-fifty. If there's a god, he'll let me win this fifty-fifty. Oh, it's thank you, God. Okay. I always knew you existed. He has a random druid spell, and next turn he can... <sighs> Summon one random demon! Come on! Okay. That's a, that's a much muncher. If I can top deck a Fiendish Rite or a Dragon Blight Cultist, I'm, in, I, I'm still staying in the game. If I just play Galak... What kind of... Devoted Maniac. Shit of Galakron. How? Where does the imps get spawned exactly? Is it to the right of? Is it to the left of the invoker? Or oh, the right? Of, okay, thank God, it comes on the right. I trade in for my uh, dude, but I think that's fine. At least I upgraded Galakron a little bit. Oh, this is all spells. These three cards are spells. He's going for a value play, which is really good for us. That's fine. That's not as fine. Being this right means I can triple trade off here. Does drawing more cards help? Uh, it doesn't hurt. I think curving out is pretty important too. I will act as your skin. I mean, I could have traded two imps in first, I guess. Because I missed out on two imps, but then I leave up two units. Eh, I think it was I think it was better to trade in first. At least my Galakron's upgraded. I would have left two minions up compared to one minion, but I think that's okay, right? Hmm. Oh man. Okay. Right now he doesn't have tempo. We have tempo. Tempo's really important in this matchup. Like, te it's a hard balance between tempo and value. It's like a give and take. Ah, oh, Galakron. What's the three best demons in the game? Because I want all of them. Okay, no, 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 no. Um. Wait, sorry, four best demon. This one seems okay, especially since it gives our other demons more damage. And baby, we have a lot of demons. This is a 4-4. Four, four. This is a 3-4. And that's a 1-1. One, one. Okay, not the most terrifying demon army in the world, but still pretty value. What are good demons? Illidan? Voidlord? Voidlord doesn't exist. Uh, hmm, mage. At rank 6, no less. Don't see too much mage these days. Ah, I hate you really don't want to start second. When you have uh, one drops in your hand, you want to start first. Because um, it's just so much easier for your opponent to come back in the game when you are playing off the coin. Build Worshipper. It's a good cycle card, but I think we're more interested to... Having early pressure and then going for value later on. The thing about coining, I'm trying to decide if I coin this or this. Probably this, right? Mage don't have early AoE.
three mana for one. Not too bad. If he doesn't clear this, I can play Fiendish, right? There's no way he runs Arcane Explosion. Actually, there's a way, if he's crazy. But let's hope he's not crazy. There's the Kronker. Mage's AoE. Is there a dragon card that deals AoE damage? No, that's in Warlock, right? The Warlock Hellfire Dragon. Dude, you gotta do something besides hero power. Come on, buddy. Okay. Maybe he won't just hero power again. Blizzard comes next turn. Ooh, Zilliax. Zilliax is good. Flake of Flame. Darkest Hour. Not bad, assuming I'm going to keep any unit after this turn. And I'm not expecting to keep any units. We get Darkest Hour against a Zulok with a Zulok deck is really bad. I'll pick Plague of Flames. Might be able to uh, cheese out something. I want a hero power here. Six mana. I assume Blizzard's on the table. Highlander. Yeah, this is a blizzard. That's why I didn't play my battle mage. Don't want to die for free now. Or it curves out better. I want to upgrade. I definitely want to invoke twice. I want to keep him on the back foot here. Must destroy. I think tapping to devote maniac is just fine. Because it's really hard for him to like clear cheaply as mage if he doesn't have arcane explosion. I can I definitely want to invoke again, but Drag Queen Alex draws us. Not bad without that because we draw a lot of cards. Ooh, the Mecharu's good. The Mecharu's good because I can just play your flames if he flame strikes. I don't think it'll trade off for a one one. Actually he might, he's at ten health. I think he's cautious enough to trade off at one health here. I like ten health, and this is just the one one. We're gonna have some fun. Oh, he can just ping it off. Yeah. Playing of flame is so nice. I should do it now, right? He also just Galakron and hit him in the face. That's always an option. He might have Alex Raza. I mean, not might have Alex Raza. There's a really good chance he has Alex Raza. If he has Alex Raza, he has to deal with four dragons, uh, four demons on the board, and that's pretty hard too. Not exactly the best dragon army. The demon army, but not terrible either. He, I'm putting, I'm doing this so he has to Alex Raza. If he doesn't Alex Raza, he loses. But even if he Alex Raza, he loses, right? Because I got, nah, this demon's good. This one's kind of meh. This puts lethal pressure on the board that he has to deal with. Like he has to gain health, gain armor, or freeze me and clear the board. You're putting so much requirement on him. This could have backfired, obviously, if I got some really terrible demons. Oh, he actually did it. Mad lad. But I got my boy Kronker here. When I can't go face my Lieutenant Kronk, he goes face. I'm curious what I would have found off Dragon Queen Alex Raza, but <laughs> I guess we'll never know.
the devastation I'm unleashing is killing you, which is absolutely devastating. Wait, did I click the wrong one? Oh, I clicked summon an 8 8. I misclicked. But hey, he conceded. <laughs> All planned. I knew he was going to concede. I didn't mess up. Okay, I messed up. It's not BM. I'm just stupid. Which seems to be a running pattern in my videos these days. I need to get back into shape. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, which is apparently what people say on YouTube, but what do I know? Hey, lights out.